Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Well, today I finally got around to doing a review on my on these boots right here. These are my Alden tanker boots in hunting green suede, and I got these from a shop in San Francisco, California called Union Made. Yeah, I had I had lusted after a pair of Aldens in hunting green suede for many years now. I've I wanted a pair, I think the first pair that I really liked were a pair of indie boots, also sold by Union Made. There was a guy that I follow on Instagram who who got the pair and I remember looking at them and I was I was close to getting them then and I and I didn't just I didn't. I just didn't know how I'd like the hunting green suede. It, it's safe going with brown, especially a darker brown. The first risk I took was getting a lighter brown. That was that was risky for me. Now green is a color of boot that I was very hesitant to get. I saw different green boots out there and I really liked them, but I wasn't sure how brave I was going to be when it came to actually wearing them. I saw these and I said, "Wow, tanker boots and hunting green suede." Uh, yeah, sign me up for these. <laughs> so I went ahead and placed the order and got these. And, and I, I, I've ordered pairs from Union Made before. And they're a great shop for Alden. They have some really nice Alden makeup. Some of the best. Some of the best Alden makeups out there, in my opinion. Union Made's just a fantastic store. And so I was really happy to get, get a pair from them. Just because, you know, when you get a pair from a store you like, you get their stamp on the inside of the on the inside of the boot and everything. Part these these are these are pretty much still an indie boot. You know, they they, they function as an indie boot. Uh, they, they look like it. They have the same sleek silhouette. So so you're still getting this so basically the same thing. It's just a variation. Uh, the next pair of Aldens in hunting green suede that really caught my eye were a pair from J Crew. Those were on the very last. Those were a plain toed chucka boot on a on a on a leather sole like these and wow I was on the fence about those for a long time I really liked those I wanted to get them but I passed on those you know also I had never owned a chukka boot before I wasn't sure how how much I would end up liking a chukka boot so I waited and continued to wait continued to wait I even ordered a pair of Chippewas once thinking that they were that moss green color that these are but turns out the Chippewas came and they were they were brown the the pictures were misleading so anyways it, it's been a long time coming for these and uh, as soon as I got these I immediately went on the hunt for another pair I ended up getting a pair of uh, long wing bluchers as well in hunting green suede which are really nice this is a pair that I've been you know sort of pseudo stocking for a long time but I'm, I couldn't be happier with them and yeah the, the suede's a real nice soft supple suede from the Charles F. Stead tannery again all it seems to be all the best suedes in the world come from Charles F. Stead anyways I'm gonna put these on and take them outside so that you can see how they look in the natural light in front of my wall of logs which is just gonna add to the rugged appeal to these so uh, all right, so I threw these on just so that you guys could get a better look at these in the natural light outside And I got the nice logs behind me. I, I was looking at several types of Aldens in hunting green suede probably for years It was just one of those colors that I just couldn't bring myself to invest in and Then when then when I saw them on sale, I, I said, okay th th This is where the stars align and I'm gonna get my first pair. I had looked at models in the plain toe chukka. I had also looked at models in the indie boot, and I did like the indie boot. I did come close to getting a pair of hunting green suede in the indie boot model, which is essentially what these tankers are. You know, aside from that Norwegian split toe right there. Uh, the the other difference between these tanker boots and the indie boot is these are on the berry last. I don't know if you could tell the shape of that out here, but yeah, being on the berry last, they're just a little bit more narrow on the foot not by much at all they're basically almost the same exact last the true balance is just a little bit more round a little bit just a tiny bit more generous but I size the same when on Barry and as I do on true balance but I, I, I really got to say that the hunting green suede has a really great vintage World War II military fatigue look going on about it it's it's rugged but refined at the same time being being a suede basically with this collapsed toe here that more sleek silhouette that lends it to being 
versatile in terms of you could dress this up or down. So I, I definitely don't shy away from wearing this with, with a button-up and a tie and a blazer. Uh, would I wear these with a suit? I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I probably wouldn't necessarily wear these with a suit. I, have, I just have better options. Not, not to say that wearing it with a suit would be a bad idea, so I probably wouldn't reach for these if I'm throwing on a suit. I definitely wear these with, with a t-shirt. Definitely wear these with, with these jeans. These jeans are obviously a light gray, but wow, do these look fantastic with raw denim, blue denims, you know. Uh, I, I do wear these with khakis too. With basically any color pant that's not green. If, if they're green, then I won't wear, I won't pair these obviously with them. But any other color pant will do. These laces, these aren't, these aren't the stock laces that came with these. These laces are from Guarded Goods again. These are those olive laces. I tried a few different types of laces with these. I tried the, the Guarded Goods whiskey colored laces, which are, which are yellowish. And they were okay, but I didn't end up sticking with those. They just weren't right. The, 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 the yellow just kinda, it's too, it was too loud. Whereas this, all, these olive color laces, I think really lend to bringing out the green in both the laces and the boot, surprisingly. These olive laces just go so well with so many things. And, you know, green on green, turns out, is, a, is, is another winning combination. So, and again, yeah, these have the antique sole. These are, you can see here from the back, 360 degree welted. I don't know if you can see that in these lighting in these lights. Also, these came with your standard uh, leather soles, but again, I went took these to my took these to my trusty cobbler and had him do his work on those. So I so I did have that uh, the heel the rubber heel protector installed, you know, just because that's that's my preference. I like to do that. Like I talked about, I did look at some other models in hunting green suede, and I really love it. It's, it's one of those, should it be your first leather that you buy? No, but should you eventually work it into your rotation if you collect footwear? I think so. I think green is really the unsung hero of a man's wardrobe. I shied away from green for so long and now I'm coming to terms with it. Uh, I'm coming to my senses that green is really such a versatile color and it's crucial. Uh, for example, I love my navy boots and everything, but like right now I'm wearing a navy sweater. So I couldn't wear navy boots, I wouldn't like to wear navy boots with a navy sweater. So many of my clothes are blue, so the problem with having blue boots is it's hard to pair it all the time with, with things. That's why my blue boots don't normally go on trips with me. Whereas these, holy crap, these go with almost everything in my wardrobe and I could wear a blue shirt or blue pants with these. You know, it, it, it just, it just, it's that other dimension of color, it, it's that dimension of color that's far enough away from the rest of your wardrobe to where you find yourself wearing these with literally almost any outfit. So, so that's another good thing about these. So yeah, I'm really happy that the stars sort of aligned and Union Made had, had these on sale and so I picked them up and, and I couldn't be happier with them. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back in the house but I hope you enjoyed the my, my review on these, these tanker boots in hunting green suede on the very last from Union Made. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.